So today is Winnie's surgery day and I think she already senses something's happening because she is behind Bean right now crying into his ear. Um, she has the cone of shame on and is just going eh. and the cone amplifies it. She knows <laughs> it's like a speaker. Because now it is time for her to perform the song of her people. So like we said last week, basically she's gonna be getting the under parts of her eyes pulled down, cut, surgeried. So that's the plan and hopefully in the long term it'll heal and her eye won't be irritated anymore because really it's just the skin pulling back, it's the eyelashes, everything. So I'm gonna get rid of those and it's hopefully stop she'll- her from being able to roll her eyelids in yeah. and have it scrape against her eye. She's been in pain for like a year now because of that eye. So we're hopefully, this, we're hopefully, I can't even speak, I'm so tired. We're hopeful that this will be the cure and the fix for that, so. Because I'm sure she's very tired of wearing combs constantly. Anyways though, we are uh, 15 minutes away, well, so. It depends really. On because, traffic. Because uh, this guy in front of us is driving ridiculously slow. Of course. It's not a car vlog without me get having some semblance of road rage. I'm a good driver, I swear. So, Winnie has been fasting for 12 hours. We're gonna get there, try and get her to pee or poo, and then we basically drop her off and we're gonna go to a coffee shop for like seven hours today to work, I guess, I don't know. You say I'm work, so I brought stuff to not work. <laughs> yeah, I'm working, I'm doing like video research and stuff and he's probably just gaming. Well, gaming or doing your spreadsheets. <laughs> I'll be vlogging too, so yeah. we need to pad this time out a little bit. We can't have a two minute vlog. People don't like that. Anyways though, I'm very worried about Winnie just because the vet says that bulldogs should really only be put under like once in their life. And this is gonna be her third time because she did when she was spayed. And then obviously the surgery in November, this past November or October. And for the third time, just because bulldogs don't breathe very well when they're under anesthetic. So but they're uh, putting a respirator she, in. There's so. gonna be a respirator and she's gonna be monitored. So I'm just trying to keep my cool here because I love her so much, so. It was hard for both of us to keep her cool last night. We were up until like one o'clock because neither of us could sleep. Yeah, we're, we're both worried. so worried. Oh, weenie honey. I think she senses, yeah. senses this. There she is. Mean. It's okay, baby. She's like, she's stuffed her face behind you. You have me driving like this. <laughs> like an old person. <laughs> this is how my dad Drives? Drove the Mini Cooper the first day he drove it to work because my family always had Mini Coopers for like oh, about 10 years now and my dad would always drive his to work but the car is small and my family is huge so before he figured out exactly the settings he had to kind of cram himself in and was driving like this. That was one of our neighbors who told us this because my dad left for work and then we got on the bus, like, honestly, right after. And they saw him driving past, and they said they couldn't contain their laughter because he just looked like he was stuffed in a little clown car <laughs> in, his, in his suit going like this. Oh my gosh, that's funny. It's okay, Winnie, we're almost there. Almost there, sweetheart. You look like you're in a fish tank. Okay, sweetie. It's so weird to vlog here. So we're currently at a coffee shop. We've been here since 8.45, I guess. So it's been like four or five hours and we've had breakfast here, we've had lunch here. And we just got the call from the vet and they said that Winnie is out of surgery and she's recovering. So we're picking her up in 15 minutes, but we're leaving in five. So hopefully she's okay. They said everything went as expected. So I don't know, you know, what 
she's gonna look like or feel like or anything so we'll we're gonna go and see couldn't really vlog here a lot because there's a lot of people looking and a lot of like business people who like to stare at us so we didn't really want to throw our youtubeness on them <laughs> yeah we're just getting ready to leave and i am being looked at at this very second people are so weird and bean has been gaming well for a while yes but now i'm just messing around on my computer okay spreadsheets okay <laughs> okay so we just picked up winnie we're back in the car she's sleeping back there right now she's kind of a mess she's actually worse than she was last time i picked her up which makes me sad but it's just the reality of it she actually had a more intense surgery this time so i guess that sort of makes sense but also we picked her up a lot sooner Last time they said she came out of surgery, give us a few hours. Yeah, I think- This time they said she just came out of surgery, come get her. Yeah, I think my dad and I waited an hour and a half after surgery, we waited about half an hour, so she's a bit dopier than I remembered her from last time. They wanted us to take her outside to go to the washroom because she hasn't peed or pooed since early this morning. And she's just so wobbly and out of it that she's not in the mindset to pee or poo. She tried to poo, but like nothing came out and she kept falling over. So it's just a mess right now. So we just put her in the back, she's sleeping. We're gonna take her home. Today is my mom's 50th birthday, so we had like dinner plans and stuff, but Ty and I can't really leave her because she's in such a dopey state. She needs to be monitored, watch her breathing. Just We need to watch her basically if she needs to pee, if she needs help and everything. So Ty's probably gonna stay with her and I'm gonna go out to my mom's birthday for like an hour, but she's gonna be monitored like all the time. She's so. gonna be sleeping on me pretty much. Yeah, so Ty's gonna be with her and then tonight we're gonna set a couple of alarms just to wake up and make sure that she's, you know, doing okay. Last time she had this surgery and she was in this state, she was fine through the night. They were never concerned about that, but we're probably just gonna set some alarms to check anyway. I'm just like, when people have concussions and you like wake them up or like make sure they're okay. Anyway, so that's the plan. So we're heading home and her eyes don't look very good right now, but they're just swollen and, you know, red and everything. So hopefully it'll go down soon, but they did remove like parts of her eyelids so now both of her eyes are like falling about a couple of millimeters he said yeah he said on one eye i know this thing is just interrupting us he said he didn't say that <laughs> Okay, so what the vet said was that he removed some tissue from both of her eyes to prevent them from rolling in. So we removed pretty much areas around here, and then, so there's a missing flesh here. So we tacked it down by stitching it with a bunch of sutures here, so it prevents her eye from rolling in. Yeah. But he was curious why the eye was so irritated, because if it was just rolling in, when he kind of has control of her eyelids rolling in for the most part, but why was it so irritated? So the surgery she had before was to remove some of the eyelashes and hairs that were poking into her eye and before he did anything while she was under he checked meticulously to see if there's anything that he could have possibly missed and there was one hair one little thing that was hidden in the folds and that could have been causing all of her issues it could have so maybe she didn't even need this like removal of skin but it was done anyway as backup because we never want her to have surgery again. This is it, it's not good for her to be under constantly. So he removed that hair and he did the flap surgery anyway. So- Flap surgery? Whatever, flap, eyelid, <laughs> same difference. She'll never have bags under her eyes again. Yeah. She'll always look energetic. Anyways though, poor Ween is gonna go home and sleep. Oh my gosh, my Shrek nails. Look at my Shrek nails, for real. Like, it looks so much better in the bottle of the nail polish and I put it on and I'm like, hey, Baby poop green, puke green, choose one. Like, anyways, going home and I guess Ty will be documenting his time with Winnie while I'm gone. And then we'll close the vlog later tonight. So at least she's going home with us. She's okay. My poor baby. Poor baby. Okay. So this is the only way she will eat. She has to eat with her medication. And she's just so tripped out by the bowl. She doesn't want to eat out of the bowl, so. We're really babying her right now, but this is the only way she will eat. It's really gross and mushy, but um, she's gotta eat, and this is the only way to do it. She's only allowed to have a quarter of her normal amount of food. So we put her little pill medication in my fingers, and she believed it, so. Winnie, imagine always eating like this. Imagine. You're being pampered. Like a queen. She won't move <laughs> like this. 
the 10 inches. Oh. Oh, oh my goodness, that one. Oh. 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 Were they really just all in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta chew them, honey. Oh no, the pill's in there. Yeah, but she emptied the pill. She just ate the pill. She's like, what the heck is in my mouth? Get her cookie. No. She's running away. She's Here's running away. Winnie. Winnie, 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 Winnie. Honey, here. Yes, you know what this is. C is for cookie, it's good enough for me. Happy girl. They're all better. We got our little ween in a blanket. Jesse's back home. I kind of shirked my duties a little bit and didn't vlog while you were out at dinner, but. That's okay, but she was lying on the carpet and she was shaking a lot, so I put a blanket on her and now she seems pretty comfortable. A little bit. I mean, as comfortable as you can possibly get after serious surgery, but... She did manage to eat a little bit and go to the washroom, so... Yeah, I'm so glad she peed. I was worried that she wasn't. But we're gonna feed her in a little bit and give her some more medicine. We'll see how she does. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, so it's the next morning now. I know we said we were going to clog... That we were going to close the vlog last night, but with Winnie, she was just completely out of it and we just wanted to uh, let her rest and we didn't want to be too loud down here. So Jesse and I ran upstairs as soon as she was comfortable. We had our alarm set, so we checked on her a few times last night and she seemed to be breathing for the most part. And today, actually, to our surprise, she was actually trying to play with toys. But we'll just let you take a peek at her right now. She's a little sad that we took away all of her toys because it was the doctor's orders not to have her be too active right now. We don't want her to overexert herself and with all the medication she's on, we don't want her to have a bad reaction. So she's a little tired as well because a lot of the pain medication that we give her does have a relaxant in them. So she gets a little dopey. But as you guys can see, she has a little bit of buildup around her eyes, but that's all just normal because it's around where the stitches are. So we're just trying to clean it up as best we can. But she's been lounging. It's good that we got the couch when we did because now she doesn't have to be on the little tiny bed, which is now serving as my laptop bag pedestal for the time being. She's doing a lot better. She's not whining. So I'd like to think she's a little more comfortable today. But yeah, no, she's on the road to recovery. But yeah, thank you guys so much for joining us in our journey for Winnie's surgery. We're going to be filming her recovery. So you guys will actually be seeing that tomorrow. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and you guys have a great rest of your day. See you guys.